Here's the tech I'm looking forward to in 2020. One, let's get into it. First piece of tech I'm looking forward to in 2021 has to be the iPhone 13. <laughs> Did I say 2013? I don't know. But I've been using my 2017 iPhone 10 for a while now. I've been using it for a good four years. It's about time it got an upgrade. So I'm looking forward to the new iPhones to possibly give me an upgrade. I was going to upgrade to the 11 Pro, but honestly, this lens, by the way, if you haven't checked out the Tecos Productions video, I highly recommend it. Um, I reviewed this lens, it was out today, hopefully by the time you're seeing this video. I really like it, the iPhone 10, and I think it's about time that I got an upgrade, so possibly this could be the phone to give me that upgrade that I've been looking for for so long. Another thing that I'm really looking forward to this year is seeing what Apple does with their silicon. Apparently they're working on a 32 core Mac that will be ARM based, will be Apple silicon, it won't be, you know, Intel, the new iMac redesigns, the new 16 inch MacBook Pro because as you know, I'm using that Windows laptop back there. And yeah, honestly, if I could upgrade that, get a better computer for roughly same price that costs, that would be a decent upgrade, I think. Hi there, I'm just editing this video now, so sorry to interrupt, but that thing I said about getting a better laptop, yeah, it might come in handy because I'm editing this video currently and I tried to warp stabilize it, you know, stabilize it out a bit because yes, this lens does have image stabilization. Why am I pointing towards the 18 to 55? This lens, it does have image stabilization, but it's just not enough sometimes. So I tried to stabilize it and the footage, it just went all whack. So yes, a uh, better laptop, Apple Silicon, with Final Cut, yes please. Another thing which I think is really important to stress is I'm looking forward to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and what they're going to do to make it better because ideally they would make it better but can they is the question. Obviously all you Samsungites are going to say, yes, of course they're going to make it better. And I'm going to say, yeah, they will. But I'm looking forward to more competition in that field because right now, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 or Z Fold lineup kind of has a monopoly. It kind of does. Samsung does it the best and honestly, I don't think it's too bad. I really don't. And let's be real, okay? Probably not going to be the most, you know, innovative or whatever. But I think it's pretty cool either way. Now I want to talk other tech I'm interested in this year. And I noticed I was going in on the production, tech was production side, but I don't care. It's my channel. Get over it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really looking forward to seeing what cameras we get this year. There are some serious rumors out there about the Canon C70, which was just announced. And I want to look forward to seeing how companies will compete with a simple camera like the Canon C70. Obviously, it's not going to be competitive with other companies at the moment. They're not competing with it. It's a camera body that's a full DSLR size and it's a cinema camera. The only other company I can feel, think of that's doing this is Blackmagic with their pocket cinema camera lineup. So I'm really looking forward to that. Of course more 12K cameras. Canon's been known to work on, been known to be working on a cinema camera that has 8K video. So I'm super looking forward to that because the EOS R5 was utter crap. Let me know what you're looking forward to in the comment section below. Of course, I'm Connor from Tech Was Tech and I'll catch you in the next one.